the you know maybe i need funds sir maybe there's this contract i want to do sir i'm not asking you to borrow me just invest or oh, benny keep quiet you are a fraud hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you guys so much for stopping by in today's video i know no one asked me yet again but i'm going to give my opinion and talk about it okay so today's video will be based on a discussion i had with someone a few weeks back we were talking about um the um, dating scene in lagos right now i i live in lagos i was born in lagos i grew up in lagos so i can only really reference lagos in this discussion although you know we hear things about the abuja men okay we hear that they be doing a lot of stuff so if you live in abuja or you've had any experience with you know the dating in abuja please leave leave a comment below i would like to you know let's gist about that let's chit chat about that after so much back and forth and all of that the main issue that was raised from the discussion was is it that this ladies of nowadays the women's of nowadays is it that they have unattainable high standards or is it that the um dating pool in lagos um is it that it's a small is it that they are really really um limited choices slim pickings of men to date in lagos so it's like is it high standards or is it that the pool is small anyway so i thought to do a video talking about that and to also hear your opinion especially if you're actively dating in lagos or you you might be married now or engaged or in a relationship but at some point if you lived in lagos or even some people do not live in lagos or have never lived in lagos but they did know about the dating life in lagos so when i was thinking about this video what came to my mind was that i need like a visual um illustration something everyone can see so because i am of the opinion that we really do have slim pickings i want to illustrate and show that by the time you 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 list out your very important criteria but what is left is really small what is left is really little what is left is really limited okay so i decided to illustrate you know i'm a scientist we like visual illustrations okay <laughs> i'm not a scientist okay this jug filled with water is going to illustrate the the whole dating pool in lagos like this jug is this amount of water we have here is like the hundred percent of men that we have in lagos are you with me so with each criteria that cannot be in the dating pool from like a single lady to choose from i'm going to pour out the amount that i think represents you know that's the particular criteria i'm talking about so we're going to see what is left at the end of the day let's find out <laughs> So I think the first criteria would be obviously for a single lady is to date someone who is single as well. It is not that easy in Lagos State. The Lagos State that is in Nigeria, I don't know about the Lagos in Portugal, okay? I don't know about Ondo State, neither do I know about Ogun State. I didn't know about Anambra, neither did I know about Enugu. I can only talk about Lagos because that is where I know. It is not easy. Do you think because you are single, you are going to meet just single men in Lagos? No. <laughs> you must be real or wrong. Now, you would think it's easy, right? Right? Like, obviously, let's take out married people. No, it is not that easy. Personally, I believe that there are two types of married men in Lagos. The ones that will tell you straight up that they are married, they are engaged, or they are in a committed relationship it's now up to you to choose if you want to chuck your head inside regardless of maybe acid is waiting for you or not that is going to be what your choice those that will tell you straight up they did not pass this they did not pass that the second type are the ones that would never ever 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 never ever 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 admit that they are in a relationship is like a course unto them admit that they're in a relationship is not done in their books they can never admit um if you come oh god even if you find a ring on their finger 
even if you catch them on their matrimonial bed together, they are never, ever, ever going to admit that they are married or they're engaged or they're in a committed relationship or anything like that. They will never agree. It is now left to you to now start, you know, you have to put on your FBI gadget to start looking for stuff. I hear, I hear, I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I hear that one of the easiest ways these days to to find out if someone is married or about to be married or they already have a post on Bella Ninja, neither. Don't let it shock you that you might be dating someone that already has a wedding post on Bella Ninja and you did not know about it. You didn't know about it. It's very possible and it happens. I hear that the easiest, that one of the easiest ways is to just go on Instagram, maybe follow the person or whatever, and then go to your explore page. How true is that? If if you know about this, please leave a comment below and please let me know. Let me in on tea. Personally, the amount of those guys is a lot. Way more than the married ones that will tell you that they're married. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but next will have to be those that are remaining in this pool. The exes are here swimming around. Ain't nobody got time for that. So you have to take out the exes. And depending on how active your dating life is, Lagos is big and small at the same time. Let's see. Yeah, that should be fine. So after you have removed married people um, and your exes, you also have to remove your father's friends. But well, anyways, you have to also take out um, the abusers, the pedophiles, um, you know, the rapists, sexual harassers, and stuff like that. You have to take them out, right? We have to take those ones out. And dude, there are a lot of them running around in human flesh. They do not used to write this on their forehead. They don't write it on, they don't have tags. These people could be really, really duplicitous. So it's like, how do you know? But at the end of the day, you still have to look out for it. And there are a lot. I mean, we can see what is going on on social media right now. <laughs> this is not funny. But the, yeah, that is actually accurate because there are a lot of no woman, no single woman or whatever wants to date a fraud star. Abuja, am I hearing you people? If it's Abuja, I'm on the right track. Okay, gotcha. No one wants to date a dead beat. Okay. <sighs> Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. Goodness me, there are a lot of them. A whole lot more than you think. There are many. Not one, not two, but thousand. Just everywhere looking for the next person to suck they're usually signals they're usually red flags but at the end of the day this love thing can can be a foolish thing sometimes you know it can cripple your head cripple your thinking faculties cripple your medulla oblongata okay love can be dangerous sometimes so no one wants the first star okay the you know maybe i need funds sir maybe there's this contract i want to do sir I'm not asking you to borrow me, just invest so that we can reap the benefits of the investments to get that. on keep quiet, you are a fraud. You have to be care what you have to be careful. There are a lot of the vampires. Once they see that you're a single woman, you're doing okay on your own, you probably live alone, you know, you're you're very comfortable, you can afford to do things by yourself, take yourself on trips, buy things for yourself and girl. You have to be very careful. What is wrong with British? So let's just get them out of this pool because ain't nobody want that. <laughs> there are a lot. There are a lot. They are really a lot. Honestly, there are a lot. Oh my god, leeches. So after you get the first stars out of the way, misogyny, men that are still misogynistic, is. I can't do it. And there are a lot so i think for me that's that's like something that has to vamos out of the dating pool personally um there, there there are a lot of men who are sick in patriarchy a lot of them it's a lot <laughs>
<laughs> it's a lot don't be fooled they are very lots for illustration purposes look look at what we have left and we haven't even talked about personal preferences we haven't even talked about blood group genotype and stuff like that we haven't even talked about that and those are really 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 important stuff we haven't even delved into spirituality all these ones that i have even talked about it's not even a matter of compatibility those are the things that should not even be in the dating pool as far as i am concerned and that is where it even gets trickier and trickier and before you know it's just be pouring down and down and you are left with one drop of water one drop so at the end of the day i feel like if you are in a committed relationship if you're married or you're you're you are um engaged to someone a good person i am not talking about the ones that even you yourself in the relationship you know that hmm, in the words of tolani bach kubosi 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 oh, oh. If you're in a good, healthy relationship, um, the streets are rugged, okay? The streets are rugged. There's nothing on the streets. I'm just telling you, from woman to woman, there's nothing on the street. The streets are rugged. There is no street that you're coming back to. The streets are rugged, okay? So, I'm just saying that for those that are in rugged, yeah, than the street, you're in a relationship, but the relationship is rugged, yeah, than the street. Come back to the street, too. You might still find something. See, we still have small that is left. It's now up to you to now find two. <laughs> just to wrap up this video, I just thought it was going to be fun to actually talk about this and hear people's opinions. So please let me know in the comment box right below if you have any criteria that you feel I mean that I did not cover. There are a lot that I did not cover, but like the basic ones that they should not even be in the pool at all you know the ones i'm talking about please let me know i'd like to hear um from you below i'd like to hear your thoughts about this video and if you liked this video please do not forget to thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye